Okay, so this week, um, updates to the Unreal Engine game mechanics independent study. I'll give you a quick show. Um, so I've added a shield. I've added more attacks on the 1 through 5 key buttons. And you see the game just froze. Okay, so the reason for the game just freezing is on the left corner here. Um, <clears throat> essentially, I have a hunger and a stamina bar, and the hunger bar is slowly going down. So if you pick up any of these items, your hunger um, bar goes up, but it's quickly going down otherwise. Um, yeah, and I've got a bit of environment here too. Um, those are the main changes to the game. So, um, hold on. <laughs> hey, my little. Okay. okay, so, uh, sorry about that. Um, Okay, so where the game's heading towards uh, from here is essentially I'm going to give these AIs, um, hopefully next week, uh, the ability to attack back and cause damage so that, um, because the semester doesn't have many weeks left, I'm thinking the game will end up being, they're attacking you, I'll probably uh, change their numbers uh, so that they can be killed in one strike. And I'll just have them uh, come in mass numbers. And the game will be how many of them you can, um, you know, kill off without getting killed and without running out of stamina. I mean, you will run out of stamina or you will get killed, but it's kind of like a high score game. You know, how long can you survive and how long and how many of them can you get before you get killed? Um, I'm also going to add, you know, magic ability, projectile, like the other character has the um, magic character. Magic character, I haven't actually bothered giving him all the updated code of um, the swords character for the last few weeks, just because um, I've been trying to save time and it's a little redundant. Um, yeah. So anyway, that's what I'm planning to do next week. If you want to take a look at a little bit of the code, um, sword character. Just show you real quick. Um, so I've added in, I've basically copied the code that I made for the original sword attack, duplicated it a bunch of times, and I've swapped out um, <clears throat> The variables that represent each attack that are getting referenced um, in the character animation blueprint, which is sword character, and I think I can get to it from here if I remember correctly. Here we go. So basically, this is the animation. Um, Blunt Space, uh, Blueprint, and it's an uh, animation state machine, I believe it's called, or Anagraph, or whatever. But basically, each of these have an animation connected to here, the bottom half of the controller, uh, the character is being controlled by the Blunt Space for Walk and Run, which you can, you've seen that, this before, you know. This is just your mouse control slash uh, W A S D, um, and then you know the different animations I've added, and, and I'm telling it to blend at the you know hip joint. Anyway, so the point is, um, sword fighting back and forth between AI, limited amount of time for survival. Yeah, that's anyway the direction that it's headed in. 
Um, there's lots of bits of code that I've added, but, um... Do you feel like I need to get back to the thesis project uh, for today? Um, yeah, I've been kind of on double duty this week. My wife hasn't been feeling the best. Um, so I've been watching uh, my son while working. Um, so my effective C rate has dropped a little bit because of that. But anyway, I'm doing what I can. Anyway, um, that's it for this week.